This is the Morning Swim Show interview segment for Friday, July 17th, 2009. I'm your host, Peter Bush. And right now, Italy is the place to be in the aquatics world. So today we'll bring you not one, but two interviews from the beautiful country. USA swim star Elizabeth Beisel will join us from the team's training camp. And then we'll talk to Steve Foley, who will break down the diving, which begins today. First, let's watch a quick commercial from our sponsor, the Swim Champions Fitter and Faster Tour. Unforgettable. Well, if she ever gets tired of the whole swimming thing, I'm in trouble because Elizabeth Beisel is definitely bubbly enough to take my job. I think I'm okay, though, because Beisel is just starting her prolific career. Olympics now <laughs> under her belt. Beisel can add world championship team to her resume. And today she's nice enough to join us on the phone from her hotel in the beach town of Riccioni, Italy, where the team is hanging out before traveling to Rome. Elizabeth, how's Italy? Oh my gosh, it's amazing here. Um, you know, the accommodations are great. Um, the pool we're training in, we have 50 meter pools, one outdoor, one indoor, and then 25 meter pool outdoors. And our hotel is literally on the beach. And today we actually went to the beach, and the sand is, like, white, like, the softest sand ever, and the water in the ocean is, like, so clear. Like, you can see, like, miles. It's ridiculous. It's gorgeous. These are the perks that come with making these teams. I know. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> so, uh, moving on to swimming, the reason you are there, uh, how you feeling, and how's the team looking? Um, we look awesome. Actually, tonight, um... I suited up and I did a practice with some racing in it. Um, Julia Smith did it as well, and we both run really fast. And you know, this is a great team. We all mesh pretty well. Um, there's definitely a wide age range, but um, you know, we're, everybody fits in. We're having a great time, so we're really going to perform well in uh, Rome. We're all excited. So, so when do you make the trip to Rome? Um, I think we leave the 23rd, um, and then the meet starts on the 26th. So I think we have like a week here. And uh, you're, you're swimming the 400 IM and the 200 back. Do you feel better about one race than the other? Or um, what do you think about your own swimming going into the, the meet? Um, I think I'm excited that um, the 200 back is first. Just because um, all the international meets I've done it, always real you know, in the Olympic fan at trials for this, the 400 IM first. So um, hopefully I'll be able to get in a good 200 back and 400 IM. I, I feel very confident about both. Um, going to get a new suit to wear, and uh, it's just going to be great. And the pool's outdoors, so I'm super excited about that. I love swimming outdoors, so um, it's, it's really going to be a great meet. I'm really excited. Cool. Well, tell the rest of the team that uh, you're our favorite guest on the Morning Swim Show, but they're all invited anytime. <laughs> oh, I definitely will. Thank you for having me. All right. Good luck in Rome. Thank you. All right. That's Elizabeth Beisel joining us from Team USA's training camp in Italy. We'll take a quick break. We'll be right back with Steve Foley. And welcome back to the show. Steve Foley is the High Performance Director for USA Diving, and he's in Rome right now. Before the big meet gets underway, we wanted to find out how the team is looking. Steve's on the phone right now from Rome. Steve, welcome to the show. Thank you. Good to be here. Well, what does your gut tell you? Is this going to be the start of an American resurgence in diving, or will the meet be more of a flop? Oh, well, I think it uh, hopefully will be a resurgence. Uh, it's a very good team, and they've now got quite a lot of experience, especially following Beijing. I think Beijing was a real eye-opener for the young divers, and uh, hopefully they've learnt plenty from Beijing, and they can now take it forward into the next uh, uh, quadrennium. But, uh, no, I'm looking for good things here, and uh, putting America and USA Diving back up near the top. Now, today, the men's one metre kicks things off. Chris Colwell... And, uh, and Terry Horner will compete for the U.S. Uh, talk a little bit about how those guys are looking. Yeah, well, Chris looks really good at the moment. He's doing some of the hardest dives possible on one meter, and uh, he's in really good form. 
Terry Horner, he looks terrific in training. His first ever major meet and competition, so I guess it'll be a case of how he keeps uh, control of the nerves, but I think if he gets through to preliminaries, makes it through to the final, I think he can have a pretty good competition. Before jumping on board with the U.S. team, you were in the U.K. where you got to uh, mentor the young British phenom, Thomas Daly. Have you seen him over there, and uh, how's he doing? Yeah, he's doing very, very well. He's a, a super talented young man. There's no question about that, and... Uh, it's just amazing. I think when you talk to him, you feel like he's more 21 rather than 15. He's uh, got a good head on his shoulder. And he looks pretty relaxed, and uh, he seems to thrive on the, the bigger the competition, the better he gets. So uh, I think a lot of things are expected from him. And uh, uh, David Badiah is diving terrific for the U.S. at the moment on platform. So uh, it should be a very good competition. Oh, I also wanted to ask you about uh, Troy Dumay, a friend of the show. Uh, do you expect him to have a, a good meet? I do. Uh, they keep calling him the grandfather, but he keeps laughing, which is good to hear. But uh, Troy's a, a great ambassador, and uh, yeah, I think he's got a lease of life. He was uh, perhaps a bit disappointed he didn't medal in Beijing, and uh, he's got a lot to prove, and he's got a good young partner in Christian Ibsen on the uh, synchronized three-meter. So uh, I think Troy's going to have a very good meet here. And uh, just give us kind of an overview of what you expect maybe from the rest of the world. Uh, what, what's something to look out for? out China continue to uh, raise the, the bench, so to speak. They're the benchmark for everyone to target. I think Matthew Mitchum from Australia, the Olympic champion on tower, who caused an upset beating China, uh, he's in good form, and I think he's uh, out to prove it wasn't, it wasn't a fluke. Um, and I think uh, it'll be interesting. There's quite a transition. A lot of new divers from other countries making their first appearance. So it'll be interesting to see. Well, Steve, thank you so much for joining us from Rome, and good luck with the meet. That's Steve Foley on the line from Rome, and that's it for the interview segment today. We'll be back next week with previews and predictions of every swim race in Rome. John Lone will join me to do the honors, so be sure to watch out for that. Our thanks to the Swim Champions Fitter and Faster Tour for sponsoring the show. I'm Peter Bush reminding you to keep your head down at the finish.